So I was stupid and left the lights on on my car the other night. Um, so battery died, understandably. So yesterday I called um, the breakdown service to come jump start my car because I've never done it before because I'm stupid. Um, they restarted it, great. They said take it for a drive for 30 minutes to you know get the battery running again. I took it for a drive for 20 minutes because I'm stupid and it's died again. So this is what I'm getting from my car at the moment. So it's a good noise. So luckily um, I have a girlfriend who has a car herself. Brilliant. So uh, I'm thinking I could maybe jump start my car with Rian so I don't have to call the breakdown company again and embarrass myself by admitting that I didn't follow the advice of the guy from yesterday because I guarantee I'll be the same guy again. I was lucky enough today to get jump cables or jump leads, what they're called, from, uh, from a friend. And now I'm gonna try and connect it. But the first problem I have is I'm in Rhys' car and I don't know how to bump the hood. Freeze. So, you're gonna hear the phrase bump the hood a lot in this vlog. Reason being is my brain was broken this day and I thought it really was called bump the hood. What I really meant to say was open the bonnet of the car. Silly me, but yeah, expect to hear that a lot. Carry on. Where the hell do you bump the hood in a Ford Fiesta Z-Tech? There is no obvious signs anywhere. So I tried searching online, um, how do you bump the hood of a Ford Fiesta Z-Tech, but no one's ever asked that question, believe it or not. Where the hell did you bump the hood? I could not call the breakdown team out because I can't bump the hood of my girlfriend's car. Mmm! I can't believe my video about jumpstarting my car, the main issue of it is I can't even lift the car's bonnet. Now this is how it's meant to be done. See? Quick and painless. Um, mechanic like, isn't it? I managed to take a picture. Don't know how clear that is. I'm gonna send it to Hens, Tom and Matt and ask him how I bumped the hood of this car. Hens has replied. Um, he said, pop, not bump, you. Yeah, my father-in-law just called me. Phone disconnected because it's stupid. But I'm gonna ring him back. Hello, Dad. Hiya, Phil, you alright? I'm on my way, right? Are oh, you gonna come over here? No worries. Uh, do you have any idea where the, the bonnet might be then, um, whilst, uh, whilst I'm waiting? Uh, it should be. It's either down by the pedals on the driver's side, yeah. down on the right hand side, or on the opposite side, passing the side in the same first bottom on the left hand corner. Uh. I can't see anything, I tell you, I'm useless at this though, I don't, can't see anything. You sit there, I'll, I'll be for like 10 minutes now. Ah, uh, cheers, but I do appreciate that, thank you very much. So, following my father-in-law's advice, I did reach down here and I can feel something. I thought I'd film it before I actually pull it, just to check, and uh, see now. There he is. So this is powering my car up now, apparently. So I'm gonna keep revving it, revving it. happening uh, now I'm gonna go for a long drive I don't know how I'm gonna be able to uh, drive the car along with that much petrol and you can't put petrol in your car while the engine's running Lovely. take the car for a long drive now to uh, to get the battery back up but for as long as half an hour not 20 minutes so 
So uh, just go back from driving the car for 50 minutes. That's five zero, not 20. So uh, the car should hopefully work now when I drive it tomorrow morning. Um, we'll see, I'll record it. And if it doesn't work, I can't promise I won't throw the camera at the window. Okay, it's the next day. So I'm just gonna check if it works now. So please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Oh yeah. Take care guys.